you have to set your red lines. Yeah. But, That's but, what but, I would say for everyone. You're, you're, if you're an employee or a business owner, you do have to have a red line and you have to abide by it. From Jay Simi, <laughs> ask Stephen, I work in the office part of my company and the websites we connect with with our vendors are starting to require ESG stuff. Luckily, my company isn't woke. Any tips on avoiding the encroaching ESG Okay, so here's the thing. I'm the worst person to ask this question because uh, my policy of like how I handle working with others, we actually have it. It's, it some people call it a memo. It's more of a mission statement is uh, go fornicate yourself with a wire brush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, if I've... Or a corn cob. Well, you know, like the funny thing is <laughs> I, I would actually say I'm a, a, a pretty, uh, I would say, most people would say I'm a nice guy, but I'm also rigid sometimes. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And like ESG, but no, no, I'm not going to do that. There were some things with companies that I worked with. They're like, well, we want you to do this. Not Nothing ESG related, but you know, I'd be like, no. Mm. And that was it. And they go, and it shocks people. They go, uh, okay. And they come back to you. They try and sell it to you another way. I go, yeah, it's the same thing you tried to tell me like two weeks ago. Uh, right. No, it's still no. still a no. And you just move on. Yes. But I don't know how to help you because you have to work within the constraints of a company, which is why we're so blessed with, you know, Mug Club and working with Rumble. No one tells us what to do at all, which is why we're able to do the content that we do. Gerald, you've worked more in the corporate world. What would you say to say? Well, if you also mainly run your own companies, aside no, from blowing out your knee in order name. That's, <laughs> thank you for that. That's my main accomplishment. Did he blow his knee out? I yeah, did blow did. my knee out. That explains that <laughs> several times. Waddle. Yes. I thought it was something no, else. No, I've got a bad back. He's been going through your. He's been going through your carry on. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, honestly, pushing back on stuff like that is important. So look, wh what happens at these corporate? I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story. There's a CEO friend of mine. Yeah. Um, and he is in a company where he has the same kind of things. I'm not going to reveal any details. The story will have a point, though, right? It will definitely okay. have a point, right? <laughs> and say mash your button. The problem, yes. the problem that you find with CEOs or think of heads of HR or something like that is that they live kind of in this bubble where they feel like they're forced to have to do these things yeah. to make everybody happy in their company. And when nobody in the company has the balls to speak up and not even just protest, but just have a, an honest conversation like, hey, I don't think we really need to do this or, hey, why are we doing that? Mm -hmm. And not do it in a way that's offensive to anybody. They start to think, hey, I have to go this direction otherwise my entire workforce is going to hold this against me right hr is gonna have a problem with this when you start having conversations with those people though and start telling them like hey look this is why this is a problem or hey this is kind of rough for us then they go oh wait there's two sides to this i don't have to just go one direction i right. can actually pick the right direction so that's yeah. what i'm saying like have conversations as much as you can and you may not be in a position as an employee to go all the way to the top but you can talk to your boss and yeah. maybe other bosses and be prepared that they may not like that and okay, you may have star. to leave that company Right. But there's something more fundamental. If you are a principled person and if you believe in something, it, it character is defined on who you are when it costs you something. Of course. Yeah. Th yeah. That, so I, I, I am constantly around people who talk about this where it's, you know, well, look, it's a, it's a money thing. Uh, I can't afford not to. If money is more important than your principles and if there is a collective agreement and that's accepted, then we're all in deep shit. Yeah, yeah. The, the and and that, that, that's what drives me nuts. Yeah. That's and why I appreciated what you did with, with this whole Daily Wire thing. Well, it it wasn't, and by know. the way, it wasn't the Daily Wire. It was, it was, I'm it not, was I'm not saying, I don't No, it was everywhere. And you know yeah. what, though? No, not to real, but I think this is important. The closest thing that I've come up with, the, up, up against with this, and I actually want to go to Toolman and, and, and Yakuza because they were there, and so, so was Hootie, where, uh, it, again, there were many contracts that were offered, and across the board, it was you get penalized if you are removed from YouTube or if you're demonetized, right? And this was always the sticking point. Because, you know, if you've watched this show or if you followed, I mean, maybe not even from 2009, but even go 2014, too, that depends how you know that it's always been a huge cause for us because we saw what was coming down the pike. And I think here we are. And I sat down with everyone here at the office and I said, look, yep. here are these, and not just one, but here are these offers on the table which are guaranteed and nothing will really change for you guys okay yeah. or um do we want to be able to really kind of do something different and take take a risk but i told you you know the risk was mitigated because we kind of knew what we could do on our own and yeah. not only greater reward but how important is it to everyone here that we be able to do the kind of show we want to do versus a guarantee yeah. remember and i i had a show of hands oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh we didn't skip a beat man we were ready well yeah. everyone raised their hand because i know that i'm i'm the elected leader here but i also want wise counsel now it's not a democracy but if everyone said no no we should take the guarantee everyone said screw them screw, screw them meaning big tech <laughs> meaning <laughs> screw big yep yeah. no yeah. we cannot i remember i think it was tim was like yeah what be monetized on youtube what you can't say anything 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, that's, so that's the it costs. That's yeah. the adventure, it, but costs. it costs. You have to draw. You have to set your red lines. Yeah. But, that's but, what but, I would say for you're, everyone. You're, if you're an employee or a business owner. You do have to have a red line, and you have to abide by it. Yeah. But you define yourself as a person based on the lines you are willing to defend. What are you willing to fight for? Yeah. That's how you define yourself. But yeah. Not I'm anymore, Brian. What, we the should problem. have music in the background every time I talk, guys. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I keep know. telling you guys yeah. that. Well, and the wind in my hair. It's only for when I cut I, myself. Gerald talks about Rudy. I do. I did in a minute ago, Notre Dame came up. No, what I'm saying, Brian, your, your point is right. People are defined by that, but that's not how we define our, our, ourselves anymore. That's, the, that's why we can go, oh, well, it's, it's too much money for me. It's about the money. I, I can't do this. Or, oh, I don't want to be un- yeah. you know, somebody who's not accepted at the cocktail parties and, and, and somebody that's pointed at as a bigot. Or, oh, this may cost me a friend on Facebook that doesn't like my point of view. Or, my, oh, this may cost me a promotion because my employer can worth find it, out about this. Worth it. No, I know. Worth but, it. But that's yeah. the thing. Most people don't have that conviction and that character. well I, a lot of it but it really it's, bothers me when you have people on the right people who are in you know who we think are in our huddle and they're and they're playing ball and i don't mean by the way being amicable i don't mean finding there's nothing wrong with that i yeah. i don't do this whole thing like oh controlled opposition i understand that it's a very large tent and people have different opinions but when people say that they are fighting for you when people go out and express the issues that we have with big tech that we have with media and it's more important to exchange exposure with these shows to get on their shows to make sure that we can still be on their platforms rather than waging the figurative war that's where i have a pro- and i'll tell you where it comes well brian you were about to say something and then- well the, the the left has been very good at attacking our pocketbooks the, it is a very very real vivid threat mm-hmm. when you can't send your kids to the school you want or they can't go or you you, you may have to sell your house that's the that is what they do if you don't tow the party line you could get fired yeah right you will get marginalized or whatever and so you can't expect a the regular citizen who's just trying to make ends meet and and provide a better life for their kids thank you this is good it's well to uh <laughs> this is good so steven's actually playing this right now on on his uh, pocket yeah um synthesizer and right next to where table, i keep sir. my diapers i had no idea you had that kind of digital dexterity i have range yeah wow you should see when i play the organ i know your hands have always been so rough uh and dominant daddy Anyway, I lost my train. I know that's what happens. That's the, the problem. Point is, you asked for it. I asked for music. You called I down the music. Now you got it. <laughs> I can't handle the truth. No, I said somebody no. mash my button. It, yes, I have a button. It's you really do measure yourself by when you when you stand to lose something. That's it. It's really easy to talk when that's all it is. You stand to, and the thing is with what we do. And now people say, oh, so what do you guys do in talking? Yeah, but then why do you get so enthused when there is a celebrity out there who may be conservative? Because you understand the influence, whether it was Kanye before he went off the deep end, whether it's Chris Pratt who then gets attacked and goes back into silence. It's because you understand that cultural relevancy matters because the culture, everything else, right, is downstream. Some people say upstream. I don't know what the uh, expression is that's appropriate. But Andrew Breitbart, I said under his tutelage, everything uh, stems from that. That's the heart, right, is culture, policy, all of it. And the problem right now is they're trying to pinch that valve. Because you are the culture. It's not even close. And that's why it's important for you guys to look and see how many people out there like you are watching, are tuning in, are taking part. Um, It's not about us. It really is about how many of you are out there. And they want you to believe that you are isolated. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.